everybody, welcome to another recap of Survivor One World. This was probably the best episode of the season. Tarzan's the only guy left. That's a whole lot of girls and just one Tarzan. So Alicia's pretty confident, or Alicia is pretty confident that she's at the top of the food chain this week. So they get the old video mail, you know, the sprint phone in the box, and they all get a little tease of their loved ones until they show up at the uh, challenge. I was really shocked. Or was I? Not really. None of these bitches are married. Or have a boyfriend, even. <sighs> I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> or a girlfriend. All right, so the only one was Tarzan, who was, had a significant other. And the challenge this week, the reward challenge, is for a loved one's picnic. So it's going to be a ropesticle course, and you have to do it while tied to your loved one. Cat and her cousin win. I'm going to cut right to the chase, because <laughs> i got too many other things to talk about. First of all, Cat and her cousin. Wow, the two of them must be kissing cousins. It's kind of weird. Um, they love each other. I suppose. So they won, and Kat ends up choosing Kim and her sister, and Alicia and her sister. Kind of weird, because the week before, or the three days before, uh, she got snubbed. So she just wanted to hang out. Girls just want to have fun. And she didn't want to have to think about taking Tarzan and his wife, or Christina and her dad, who God knows how much time he's got left. Very selfish. Uh, at the reward, Kat thinks uh, she's the final three. She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm the final three along with Kim and Alicia, but I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> and, yeah, Kim talks to her sister and is like, I think I'm going to go with this as the final three because Alicia, no one likes her. She's a bitch. And she's delusional that people do like her. And Kat is a train wreck. I like my chances. And the sister is like, yeah, I agree. So back at camp, though, everyone's pissed at Kat. And she's the flavor of the week, a.k.a. She wants, she's the one who's going to get voted out. Until the heroes return from the reward, and Kim tells everyone that Sabrina's going home. All right, it's time for the immunity challenge. And it's an endurance. I freaking love the endurance ones. Um, basically, they had one like this a couple years back. Balance on a log, hanging forward from an ever-increasingly long rope on a winch. It was actually kind of evil. <laughs> when Jeff kept cranking up that rope, you know, to hang them over further, it just, it was like weird. Kristen said it was kind of like the scene, the torture scene from The Princess Bride. All right, there was a whole lot of bare asses hanging out, too. All right, Sabrina was out first. Shocking, because Tarzan was second. I thought for sure Tarzan would have lasted about five seconds, but he must be improving. He's, he's getting ready to play the game in the last inning. Uh, Alicia quit, followed by Chelsea and Christina, so it really came down to Kat versus Kim. And I swear to God, I had an epiphany at this point point in the show. Kat and Kim are like the two sisters from A League of Their Own. Exactly. Kim, even though I don't like her, is the Gina Davis one. <laughs> and Kat is the, I can't think of her name, the tomboy one, who, who just wants to be as good as her sister. But she never will be, because she's low class. All right, so after the challenge, which Kim won, by the way, and Kat cried and snubbed her, wouldn't give her a high five. So she was pissed. Back at camp, Alicia's like, um, Sabrina's not really a threat. We should get rid of Cat, because I'm afraid it's going to be a Troyzan situation where we won't be able to get rid of Cat when we want to, because she'll win challenges. Does that anybody else? Well, we'll have to see after Tribal. So it's Tribal, and... Jeff wants to know, what the F is up, Kat, with you picking the girls who snubbed you last week? And 
Kat was just like, um, it was just, she didn't even answer the question. She was just like, I, I just wanted to hang out with them. I really wanted to, you're stranded on an island with them. D don't you hang out with them all day long? <sighs> Weird. Bottom line, she's 22, stupid, and selfish. And it's all about her, which always equals a recipe for disaster. Uh, Tarzan, he claims he wasn't bothered by the whole thing, but he'll still vote for her. Well, he didn't say that, but dude, he did. Uh, <laughs> why is Kat always acting stupid or, like, drunk? Or is it, like, her attempt at trying to be, like, cool and her saying, like, dude all the time? Like, Jeff, dude. Weird. All right, so f the final question before the vote is... Uh, about blindsides and Kat thinks they're great they're exciting and they're always like well after the vote Kat was blindsided so she must have been quite excited actually she doesn't think they're still fun and exciting anymore yeah <laughs> the whole post interview was awkward I feel bad for the people on the jury because I'm sure they're going to get a whole few days worth of cat. <laughs> Next time, the whole show's about Tarzan. Is he playing in the ninth inning? I sure hope so because I freaking love Tarzan. Till next week, much love.